You find yourself on a trip to Las Vegas and you think, I wanna play some blackjack, but not all blackjack games are created equal. So I wanna share with you five of the worst blackjack variants that we've found in and around Las Vegas. I'm Colin from Blackjack Apprenticeship and I wanna share with you some of the worst blackjack games in and around Las Vegas. And what I don't mean is, oh, I seem to lose whenever I play with Sally. Sorry, Sally's of the world. What I mean is games that have a huge house advantage that are going to cost you far more money than a more quality blackjack game. So without any more explanation, let me get into it, starting with number five. The number five blackjack game to avoid is called Free Bet Blackjack. Now, this is a version of blackjack that started popping up all over the place last seven or eight years, and it allows you to double down or split your hands for free. But like anything that claims to be free, it is too good to be true. The catch with free bet blackjack is that if the dealer draws to 22, you don't win, but you actually push on that hand. So this is kind of like if I were advertising free hot dogs, but you have to pay $10 for a hot dog bun and you can't get the hot dog without the bun. Free bet blackjack has about a 1% house edge, which is roughly double that of a typical blackjack game. So for a perfect basic strategy player who's betting about $10 a hand, instead of costing you $5 an hour, this is gonna cost you about $10 an hour. The number four variant to avoid is six to five shoe games. So blackjack games that are six or eight decks that pay a blackjack only six to five. Now this option or this rule has taken over the Las Vegas strip like a virus. Sorry if that's a little too soon. And while six and five are larger numbers than three and two, that does not mean it's better for you. It actually means that you get paid significantly less when you are dealt a blackjack. I have an entire video on this game that I published recently. You can check out with a link below or up here or something. In the full six to five blackjack video, I get into the details of what it means for the player, what it means for card counters, and what I think it means for the future of blackjack, you can check that out. But that one rule variation makes the game about four times worse than a typical three to two blackjack game. So this gives the casino roughly a 2% advantage over the player. For that perfect basic strategy player, instead of losing about $5 an hour betting $10 a hand, you're gonna lose about $20 an hour. The number three blackjack variant to avoid is six to five free bet blackjack. So we know six to five blackjack is bad, and we know that free bet blackjack is bad. Somehow, magically, do two wrongs make a right? This game is offered at over a dozen casinos on the Las Vegas Strip, and just like you would think, two wrongs do not make a right. This works out exactly how you would think, where the disadvantage of free bet blackjack is added to the disadvantage of six to five blackjack, giving casinos a two and a half percent advantage over a perfect basic strategy player. So if you're playing perfectly and you're betting about $10 a hand, instead of losing $5 an hour like a good blackjack game, you'd expect to lose about $25 an hour at a six to five free bet blackjack table. That is an expensive free bet. Now if six to five free bet blackjack isn't bad enough, we get to our number two blackjack variant to avoid, which is bonus spin blackjack. Bonus Spin Blackjack can be found in downtown Las Vegas, which is the original casino district or home of the Fremont Street experience. The way it works is you have a normal blackjack bet and the worst versions of it actually are six to five. But on top of the main bet, they make you play a side bet. It's a mandatory side bet. And this is how I imagine casino executives came up with this. A casino executive comes up to his games creators and says, how can we get even more money out of people at the blackjack tables? A guy says, we could make it all six to five blackjack tables. No, that's not greedy enough. We could also add a mandatory side bet. Now you're talking, how much of a house edge does that give us? Somewhere between four and five and a half percent house edge, but no one's gonna fall for that. Don't you worry about that. We'll just put scantily clad dealers at the tables and women dancing on poles in the blackjack pits. So a porno pit? No, we'll call them party pits. You can walk into casinos in downtown Las Vegas and have dealers hardly wearing anything with people dancing behind and the casinos are trying to distract you from the fact that they are absolutely stealing from you at the tables with this awful blackjack game. 
With upwards of a 5.5% house edge, that means that the perfect strategy player betting about $10 a hand will expect on average to lose $55 an hour. But for some reason, I don't expect the average person sitting down at one of those tables is really thinking about the house edge. And that brings us to our number one blackjack game to avoid, and that is any blackjack table where someone isn't playing perfect basic strategy. Now, before you freak out and say, Colin, that's a trick question, let me remind you, all of those house edges I gave you is for a perfect player. However, the average gambler at a blackjack table is playing with a two to 4% disadvantage. And I've run on this channel blackjack playing strategies that give players upwards of a 6% disadvantage, not including the house edge. So if you find yourself in Las Vegas and you think, I wanna play some blackjack, master basic strategy, play quality games, and don't encourage Las Vegas to offer up this garbage. And if you really wanna learn how to beat the casinos and take down the house, learn how to count cards, that's what we're all about. You can subscribe below, you can check out our free card counting mini course or learn more at blackjackapprenticeship.com.